I'm Lisa Sparhawk uh, with lisasparhawk.com, and I live in Boulder, Colorado. And the reason I joined Tapping in the Well uh, coach training was partially because I have a bookkeeping business, and so I already kind of speak the money language with people, and I felt like getting a better understanding of why people have the tendencies they do with money um, would just give me another service to offer my clients. Um, and I also noticed that for me personally, uh, throughout a lot of the coaching that I was receiving throughout the year, the topic of money came up uh, an abnormal amount of times. And so I thought it would also be really good for me to go through the program and clean up whatever I have going on as well. So um, I definitely... And receiving the benefits as well as hope to share them with other other people. I joined the program about five months ago, and I would say that by the end of month three, I already had a client who was willing to pay me for my services. So that was really exciting because I was only technically a few modules into the training, um, but just working with her through the money map and and stuff, um, you know, we recognized that what I already knew could be really valuable to her. And so um, I kind of was able to keep keep training at the same time as, as teaching it and sharing it with, with my client. So it was a kind of a nice um, progression. I didn't feel like I had to get through the whole program in order to sign someone up. The program requires you to work with um, other coaching students, it also requires you to work with non-coaching students as practice clients. And then obviously if you get a paying client, um, they're in there as well. And I think what's been really interesting for me is that even though, you know, Margaret really gives you a really strong kind of baseline and background of how sort of the average person works around money, um, it's still really fascinating to see how everybody has their own story and their own history. And um, what I love is that through the um, Q&A calls that we have twice a month, you know, we get to ask specific questions on particular clients. And, and we also get to learn from our other students, right? And so it's just always fascinating to... Um, be able to have like all these different pieces of training that you've received and be able to kind of pull that out when you need to, depending on who you're working with. So um, I'm trying to think of an example, but you know, I have one client, well actually my the paying client, you know, she spends all her money. She doesn't save anything. She, um, it's just in and out, in and out, and she wants to have fun with life. So I think that she, that's how she has fun is by spending money on trips and skiing and whatever. And, but she's also kind of looking a little bit ahead and saying, I, I would like to have a little bit more security. And what was interesting though is as we, you know, did the money map and the family paradigm process, um, there wasn't a whole lot to be there's not a lot of, there wasn't a lot of like really traumatic stuff, but it doesn't have to be traumatic. It can be some really small minor things that, that set your programming, um, on for the rest of your life if you don't change it. And so I just like that personally, I like that everybody has a different story. Um, you're never doing the same thing twice and hearing everyone else's stories through either Margaret's training or the Q and a calls. Um, we just learn, we learn a ton of, we get a lot of experience that way. Um, so you don't have to like obtain it all yourself through having a lot of clients. I want to say that this program is probably the most valuable program I have experienced. And I've gotten a lot of training and coaching and, bought a lot of programs, and I just feel like, um, especially if you want to incorporate this work 
into work with your own clients, you should not pass this up. And I almost felt like emailing Margaret and saying, Margaret, you're not charging enough. <laughs> She's sort of always kind of talking to us about owning our value and charging our value. And I almost feel like this is under underpriced in a way. It's just, there's so much that you can get out of it. And so, um, you know, I hate to, I hate to, uh, I don't know. I just think it's incredibly valuable. And so it was worth every penny in my opinion. 